So you've cheated in your marriage, but for some reason you have decided that it's not time to throw in the towel. Let me give you a few tips that you need to remember. Angie Yowzi, relationship coach, wife, mother, and best-selling author. Number one, don't assume that the pain is gone just because you simply said, I'm sorry. I know you may be tired of it, but you must be willing to say you're sorry more than once in order to help your spouse to heal from this. Number two, you must be committed to rebuilding the trust. Remember all the things that you did to build trust from the beginning, how you always had eyes for them, how you always were making calls to them, how you were always thinking about them, sending them texts, reminding them of how much you love them, the looks, the touch, all of those things have to be in place in an accelerated pace. We've coached many couples that have been in the exact same situation and they're still together to this day. The third thing I want to remind you of, remember that there's something greater than you. You can always take hands and pray. There's something so powerful when a husband and wife takes hands and pray together. It shows them that you really do care about their relationship and that you're asking for something greater than yourself to help. It doesn't have to be the super religious flowery prayer. It just needs to be genuine from your heart. This will speak volumes to your spouse and bring healing to your relationship. The best thing that you can do to rebuild this broken relationship is to stick together. Because as you're sticking together, you're working together. If you think you need more help in this area, reach out for a free consultation. Angie Yowzi, Relationship Coach. Follow for more.